Hey Kings, you are once again welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to create the simple animated countdown timer, inside Premiere Pro. This is very easy, so watch to the end, and you will be able to create it. So quickly, let's start creating. We're going to start by drawing a circle. So I'm gonna pick the ellipse tool and start drawing. But make sure to hold the shift key on the keyboard whilst drawing, and this is going to give you a complete circle. Good. Now on the essential graphics panel, we're going to make sure that the circle is exactly at the center of our sequence. So we're going to hit both the align center buttons, and our circle will right be at the center. Great. Now, we're going to disable the fill, and enable the stroke. And you can adjust the thickness of the stroke as well. Great. And also you can change the color if you want to. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave the color to be white. Good. Now I'm going to extend the circle to be equal with the background. Cool. On the effects panel, we're going to search for radial wipe effect, and add it to our circle. But make sure you don't select the one under video transition. Okay. And then add it to your clip. Now on the effect controls panel, add a keyframe to transition completion at the beginning of the timeline, at 0%. Move forward on the timeline, and then change the value to 100%. Now, take the last keyframe to the end of the timeline. Right click on it, and then select ease in. Move to the first keyframe. Right click on it, and then select ease out. This will make your animation more smoother. Okay, that's great. We're done animating the circle. Let's move to the timer. But before we continue, check out this project in only 30 seconds. These templates are going to make your work more easier. You can purchase it with the link in the description down below, for only $2.99. Okay. Thanks for waiting. Now, let's proceed. Create a transparent video. Accept the default settings, and then click OK. Good. Now add it to the timeline. You can also extend it so that it will match up with the other layers. And also, the more you extend it, the more the length of your timer extends. For example, I have extended it to 10 seconds, which means, my timer will be up to 10 seconds. Okay, now search for the timecode effect, and then add it to the transparent video. Good. But this doesn't mean the effect only works on a transparent video. The reason why I am recommending a transparent video is because, with this, you can export it as a transparent video and use it in the future. Okay, now after adding the effect to the transparent video, you will see the stopwatch on your program monitor which include hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So now, I will position it to the center of the circle. And we can also do some adjustments on the timecode. We can increase the size, and then also reduce the opacity of the background color. The last thing that I will do here is to remove this point, and we can do that by disabling the field symbol. Great. Now search for the crop effect on the effects panel, and then add it to the transparent video. On the effect controls panel, Click on crop. And these blue lines are going to help us to wipe out all the options that we don't need. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use only the seconds. Now I can position it well. And even increase the size a little bit more. And of course, open up the crop again. Great. But if I play back, you will see that the timer is counting up, instead of counting down. So what we have to do is to reverse the speed. Right click on the clip. Go to speed or duration. And then reverse speed. But unfortunately, that option is grayed. So what we have to do is to nest the clip first. So right click on the clip again, and this time, go to nest. You can give it any name that you want, and then hit OK. Now the clip will be nested. Right click on it. Go to speed or duration. And now the option is given to us. Check reverse speed, and then hit OK. And that's it. If I play back, the timer will now be counting down. I know what you are thinking. What if you want to change the color and the font style? Unfortunately, I have not found any means of changing the font style. But I'm gonna show you how to change the color. Search for the tint effect on the effect panel, 
and then add it to the nested sequence. On the effect controls panel, change the map black to white. And then change the map white to any color of your choice. And that's it. This will now be our final result. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. And thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, for more and amazing tutorials. And also, you can leave your questions and comments down below. I always appreciate comments. Jesus loves you. See you next week.